what's up guys so uh today we're gonna actually be playing a brand new game that just came out i don't know how long ago but it is called idle archer um i played a couple of games like it before um there is one on the phone called the tower and i can't remember what the computer version was called but i love that one that made two games of it um so it's pretty unique it's pretty cool. It does get repetitive, and it is something that you'd have to just kind of get acquired to. <laughs> but and I, I decided to do a video on it because I was like, you know what? Brand new game, and uh, this is going to be my first video. So I said, why not? So basically what you are is when you start out, you're just an archer on a tower, and you're being invaded by... I'm assuming a dark army of some sort. You got skeletons, and then there's like, you got zombie dogs or hellhounds, whatever you want to call them. Then there's like these giant spiders that end up coming. It's it gets intense. Um, and basically once you die, which I'm hoping doesn't take too long. <laughs> I won't really upgrade anything just so you can see because I'm already. I'm already pretty stacked so normally you start with two damage and basically what it is is you start with um, very minimal stuff and as you see these gold coins drop and when you get out of the game there's things that you can actually buy and the game does like you can actually progress pretty far I don't know what they actually have in this the other games that I played there was like other things that you could do um, but we'll have to see I don't know if they're gonna make more or what they plan on doing but there are a lot of upgrades. So as you see, you can get your critical chance up and your critical multiplier. Then there is damage per meter. So right now I shoot at 6.1 meters. So basically, and I'm only have it at 1%. Now let's say if I get it up, that's it goes up by 0.5% every time. So now it's at 2%. And so basically if I shoot them as soon as they're at the line, I'm doing an extra 2% damage. So instead of 41, I'm now doing 43 not that good once you get further in the game and you get that damage per meter higher and you get it to around like 10 20 percent and your range is around like 10 meters then yes damage per meter will boost you a whole bunch but currently it's not that good um you got health and health regeneration that's pretty simple your health um as you see at the top of the screen that's how much damage the monsters do so they do 4.1 right now. I have 58 HP, so I'm not too concerned. And I heal 1.93 health a second. Um, then you got mana regeneration. This game is the only one that has this. I have never seen any other game version that is like this that has abilities. So this one, this ability increases your attack speed. It costs 70 mana. You regenerate 3 mana a second, and you get 100 mana to start. And you can increase this. It only goes up by 5, apparently. And then in the gold section, or the experience section, you can get experience per enemy, which only goes up by 0.02 each time, which honestly sucks until you get it higher. And then experience per level which is pretty nice because that just gives you more experience as you're going. So as you see, I'm at like 400 experience. We could honestly like buy something. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I've never got to see this view. I've never done that before. <laughs> but yeah, so the game, the game is pretty interesting. And the reason why I like it personally is because you can, I, it's just, I don't know. It's just something to do. Like just, it's unique. It's different. It's not the same as every other idle game. There is not many games like this at all. There are idle tower defenses and idle things like that, but there's nothing that's really like this other than the tower and the one on the PC, and I think there are some other ones. So we're going to die right now. You guys will get to see. You can either super revive with all your HP and get an extra experience, or you can just revive with the video, or you can just exit out. We're going to exit out. As you see, it'll tell you how far you made it. It'll tell you if it was your best wave. It'll tell you how much you got. That thing, don't worry about. And then talents. So these are all the talents that you had in the game. But now with the gold coins, you can actually buy further 
like basically keep it more developed so that when you get into the game because when you start everything costs like 10 experience basically and every time you buy it it gets harder and harder to afford until you die now when you come back to here you can basically advance it further so instead of starting at two damage i'm now starting at 41 and it still only costs 10 experience in the game to start getting it up even more so basically you just end up getting further and further and further and you can unlock new abilities and you the gems are pretty simple to get there's daily rewards then you can also watch all these ads to get stuff um also in the top left here which you they show you how to claim it but you can um, watch a video for one free hour or you can pay 60 gems for 24 hours of basically it's uh, it's 1.5 times experience I don't like that they put 150% because to me when it says 100% that would usually mean double that's what it usually means in most games if you put a percentage but in this game 150% no nah, it's just it's just 1.5 times but yeah the game the game is pretty interesting and I think that if you guys were to play it and if you guys are wanting to understand something about it, damage and attack speed are the best things to get up early on. And then the other thing is you want gold per level. The gold per level, like as you see, like so my top wave is 19. Right now, I'm getting 13 extra gold each level all the way to 19. So basically, as soon as I hit 10, I've gotten 130 gold. And then by the time I get to 19, I've almost made 260. So it just keeps going up. And then in game, you can also increase that more. So those are the two things that you want to farm. The range and damage per meter, I would not touch. Same with critical chance and critical multiplier, I would not touch. The only things that I would touch is like the health, health regeneration, damage, attack, speed, and then the coins. Once you start getting further and further and further and you're able to maybe get your damage per meter at least to 5% and have your range already at 7, then I would say sure. But I also have a range card on. So this thing increases your range permanently by 15%. But yeah, so that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to smash the like button and the subscribe. I will be making more videos on this. And I will kind of be doing like a little guide or kind of like walkthrough of what more to do. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys the rundown of the game. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.